All right, guys, what's going on? I hope you're having a great day. Um, and like always, before I get started, I want to thank uh, say uh, thanks to all my subs, members. Um, if you're neither and just watch the channel, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so yesterday I was talking about uh, the little baby in Georgia that had the uh, unfortunate, I'm just going to say unfortunate delivery process and don't really know factually what all happened. Uh, that will come out, I'm sure, later. Um, you have allegations uh, from the, uh, the mother, and then you've got, you know, allegations from the hospital. Okay, so, and yesterday, just to be, and just to be fair, just to be fair, guys, yesterday, um, you know, I was, I was going hard on the hospital and the doctor and just to be fair, um, do we know exactly what happened in the whole process? I mean, factually, factually, do we know, um, we've heard from news sources, we've heard from, um, you know, uh, you know, corn, um, the medical examiner's office and this and that. In fact, the, the whole factual stuff is going to come out eventually. Um, and someone made a, left a comment for me saying that I shouldn't talk about uh, criminal acts by the doctor or the nurses involved in this. Um, and I'm not saying that they did commit criminal acts. What I was talking to, now they could have, I'm saying they could have. What I was more referring to is the whole cover-up process, uh, the alleged cover-up process in this whole thing. Um, it sounds like there was an attempt to cover this up. Uh, and therefore, if any doctors or nursing staff took part in that uh, cover-up, um, then they could be held criminally liable if, you know, the district attorney uh, decides there were criminal acts committed here. That's what I was trying to get at. So, uh, but it is being investigated. Now, the, uh, the medical examiner's office has requested a thorough investigation into the entire matter. Uh, so we'll see how the investigation goes. Uh, now, I've gotten straight from the lawyer's mouth, the attorney firm, the, the firm that the attorney works for. Uh, they have spoken and they have said uh, what they're going after the hospital and the doctors for. So if you guys will, uh, I'm going to play that right now. So, and this is coming straight from the horse's mouth. This is the, uh, the firm that is representing, uh, you know, Jessica Ross and her husband. Ba well, basically Jessica's whole family. I mean, it, it you know, it, it affects her whole family because I'm sure, you know, if she's got a mom or a dad or if, um, you know, the, the baby's father had a mom or a dad, if they're still around, you know, they were, they were looking for a little grandbaby and, um, you know, you're, 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 yeah, it's just a very sad situation, guys, very sad. So uh, without further ado, uh, I've got what uh, the law firm is going after the hospital and the doctors for. Uh, so uh, after the video, drop some comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the whole ordeal. Let me know what you think. Um, according to what we've heard so far, um, it sounds like, uh, to me, it sounds like protocols were missed. Um, the right decisions may not have been made, but like I said, everything will come out in the wash, you know, as, as we go on with this. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. If the law, if the, if the hospital wants to settle, I don't know. I, di I didn't know that the whole firm was behind this. It sounds to me 
like they're going to take us to trial. It sound, and it's not just about the money, okay? It's not just about the money. Because if it was about the money, it would just keep happening to other families. It sounds like the uh, law firm wants to make sure that this doesn't happen to another family ever again. And that is what you want when you're representing someone like this. So uh, without further ado, here is uh, the law firm talking about um, who they're going after and, and, and why they're going after them. Uh, so again, drop comments below after the video and thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. We're here because this young couple, Jessica Ross and Travion Taylor, their son was decapitated during a botched attempt at delivery at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Georgia. In my experience, my 12 years experience practicing medicine and 20 years basically doing law, this is one of the most sad, egregious, and horrific situations that I've ever seen. We're here to announce the filing of a lawsuit uh, against Dr. Tracy St. Julian for medical practice, Premier Women's OBGYN, nurses, and other healthcare providers at Southern Regional Medical Center and uh, Southern Re Regional Medical Center itself due to these horrific circumstances. Before we get started, let me just introduce the people who are here. Uh, first of all, uh, we have Jessica Ross. She's the mother of the seated baby, uh, baby Travion Isaiah uh, Taylor Jr. This is Mr. Taylor. <clears throat> He's a senior. We have the lawyer that represents him who basically engaged our firm to move this case. This is attorney Corey Lynch. We've got my law partner, attorney Keith Lindsay. We've got uh, law associate here, attorney nurse practitioner, Juan Gant. And then we have uh, a law, she just fin finished law school, but she's studying for the bar. This is uh, Clark Edmund. We also have Show Watson in the back here. He's a senior associate or senior partner uh, or, or uh, counsel with our firm. Let me just cut straight to the chase and talk about the case itself. Uh, the case that we have filed is a wrongful death case on behalf of baby Travion Isaiah Taylor Jr. It's a medical malpractice case. But it also has another twist to it, which unfortunately happened. We have alleged fraud and intentional infliction of emotional distress due to misrepresentation by people who are involved in Ms. Ross's health care. More specifically, in terms of the fraud which exposes these parties to punitive damages in Georgia, we have the failure of Dr. St. Julian to immediately inform this couple about the decapitation once she spoke with them after the procedure. We also have misrepresentation and fraud on the part of other health care providers there at Southern Regional who lied to this couple and told them that their situation did not warrant a free autopsy paid for by the county or by the state. Uh, just the opposite. These circumstances for sure warrant an autopsy paid for by the state or by the county. And they also tried to encourage this couple to get the baby cremated before an autopsy was done. So there was a, an attempt to basically destroy evidence. And attorney uh, Lynch is gonna go more into detail about that. Uh, this case shines a much brighter light on an issue that is endemic to our society here in America. It's the disparities uh, uh, in terms of maternity.